Hey, how's it going? My name is Jay, and in this video, I got a super fun project. This is a ClearCom HB704, and I got this off eBay for 25 bucks. You will see these like in the back of theaters or venues. And again, I got it really cheap online. Maybe the guy didn't know what he had or didn't care. Regardless, uh, I figured I could make something out of it, and I did. I ended up turning it into a two-wire belt pack with a couple extra features that I always wanted to have on a two-wire belt pack. So on the front, uh, I take in Duplex Audio A, two-wire, uh, loop out of Duplex Audio A to other belt packs, uh, Duplex Audio B, and then this is actually something really cool. So I always wanted to have a stage announce on a two-wire belt pack, and what I did is I sp took a splice off of the mic, uh, which, uh, the plus and minus for the mic on this female jack and I sent it with a switch in line to this XLR port and this 3.5 port. So whenever the operator, if it's a TD producer, somebody calling a show, whoever, they could talk to their crew here and then when they press this button, their voice is routed out of here. A again, it's a dynamic mic, unpowered low, so you need a preamp, but it's routed out of here that can be sent to a console, turned up and then and then sent out to a PA, like a stage announce, or maybe directly to an IFB, you know. Okay, crew, get ready for commercial. Hey, talent, we're about to go to commercial. And now you have that flexibility on a two-wire pack. I thought it was really cool and it worked great. I 3D printed this enclosure and the face panel that these Nutrik XLR jacks are on. And I'm gonna give you guys those 3D print files I designed completely for free. They're in the uh, link is in the description below. If you want to click it, it'll take you to my website, and you can see all that there. Later in the video, I will give a in-video link to download those same files. Now I carry this in my kit, and I also carry an old uh, ClearCom power supply with me to power this. So, like on the fly, I have an extra belt pack, or I can do kind of a makeshift comm with this button, right? Where if comm is completely forgotten, I can at least have somebody on a headset and their voice can be sent out to a console and then sent out to headphones for the crew and we're not dead in the water, right? If God forbid that happens, because it does. I've actually used this on a couple shows and I'll show you guys that. So let's dive right in and I'll show you guys how to build one of your own. You don't need an HB704 too, you could just get a 702. I, I didn't even use the 704 for its full potential. It says an A, B, C, D switch, and I just used uh, A and B, A, A out and B. So if you get a HB702 or you had one laying around and you wanted to do the same project, that works just as well. And again, uh, I carry an old uh, ClearCom power supply with me because you still, it's a two wire system. So you still need a two wire power supply so let's jump right in and I will show you guys how to build one of your own. Remember to like and subscribe. Check, just making sure this works. <laughs> it works. Thumbs up with a nice touch. It is clean, man. Hey, so with all these videos, I just kind of give this disclosure now. I don't think I'm the all be all when it comes to electronics and audio engineering. I think I know a lot and it's certainly my job and a lot of fun. But if you see anything in this video that maybe I, I said wrong or you think you could do this project differently, like please let me know in the comments because ultimately that's helpful to me and helpful to the community. So I certainly appreciate that. If you want to download any of these STL files, you can absolutely for free with the provided link right here. The link to these STL files is also in the description below. So building this, I created and 3D printed two objects. The first one is the enclosure and you could see the 3D print right here revolving over my head. And inside there, I put the posts for these four screws. Now, one of the problems 
uh, where this part joined these two posts right here. They're a little bit close to the wiring on uh, these ports. So what I did is I took my Dremel and just kind of brushed it down a little bit. Now on the front, what I should have did is I should have put two snaps on the sides so that this just kind of snapped into the enclosure piece. But I was a little bit lazy on that. And I knew that they had to be separate in order for me to build it, solder it, and assemble it. So what I ended up doing is I just hot glued it together. <laughs> um, yeah, that worked. I also put all of the holes in the face of the 3D print so that you didn't have to drill those holes out. They're already done for you. If you're just gonna buy like XLR new, new trick, like male and female plugs to put into it. Okay, so I have wired up my stan standard two wire A and then I have a pass through here. So A just loops right out. And this is the 3D printed part I showed you. Channel B right here. Here is, wait. What you're looking at right now is the pinout for a XLR type ClearCom two wire setup. So pin one ground, pin two DC power, and pin three is the duplex audio. In this case, um, it would be one cable for A and then you would have to use another cable for B. Um, I didn't set it up to be used with a two wire combiner. I just set it up so where if I was next to like a free speak station or an encore system with, with an A and B, I could send a direct A and a direct B to this pack. And the way that you wire this up to the HB panel, it, it's super easy. They give you the directions right on the back of the panel where the duplex audio goes, where the power goes, and where the ground goes. And I'll show you that right here too. This is something kind of cool I wanted, and that was just a straight mic out from this mic dedicated to something. I also put in a switch right here that turns this mic on and off. And this is completely independent of all the other features of this. For example, if I press this in, check one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, because this is a dynamic mic, I need a preamplifier for that. But if you wanted to get this microphone sent out as maybe just like a stage announce or straight to an IFB, now I can do that with this switch right here. So as far as the mic connection, what I did, if you look at the two middle pins, where they connect to the circuit board, the harness connects to the circuit board from the four pin female jack. Um, I got the pin out for what was the plus and the minus for the mic. And right here is the pin out for you. So you could see the plus and the minus is the brown and red cable. And I soldered the two cables that I ended up sending out uh, with the switch in line for the eighth inch port and the XLR jack. And then what I did is I filed down that solder really flat so that the cable um, socket could fit right back into its slot and just connect right over that. So that's kind of like an old school wiring a, a car stereo kind of trick. So that's how I was able to um, get the mic. This sits like this, all screwed together. This will pop on and glue. So I could have done it a little better if I put notches on the side to where that it clamped in, but this one's going to get glued together. I've tested everything, the circuits work the way they should, so now I'm gonna put it together and be done with it. It's pretty awesome, right? Thanks for watching and following along with this project. Um, if you're not building one and just watching, thanks, that's cool. If you ended up building one, I'd love to see your build um, or, or just talk to it about it. If you got any feedback, if, if maybe I could have done something better, let me know in the comments. Again, I'm not perfect. I don't think I'm the greatest when it comes to this stuff. So maybe you had a better idea or something I could have done differently. Definitely put that in the comments. I'd love to read that. Thanks for watching. I'm Jay and uh, 
rock on. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe.